very much. Appreciate that. Well, as we reported earlier, conservatives who were targeted by the IRS are testifying on Capitol Hill today. Our next guest says the allegation should not come as a surprise since he claims the IRS has been doing this for over a decade. Joining us now is the president of Americans for Tax Reform, Grover Norquist. Grover, thanks so much for joining us. So you're saying Sorry. during the Bush administration as well, this was pretty common practice? Well, I can't speak for the Bush administration, but uh, in the 90s, I served on a congressional commission that was put together, uh, Senator Bob Curry and uh, now Senator uh, Robert Portman were the two chairs of that uh, commission, and we were looking into abuses by the IRS back then. Uh, you may remember <clears throat> scandals where IRS agents were going over their neighbors' tax returns and movie stars' mm -hmm. tax returns and people violating the privacy of citizens that they had no reason uh, to do. They weren't auditing their uh, their taxes. Because they had that commission, we interviewed people from the IRS, and I said that I'd been checking and conservative groups were getting audited under the Clinton administration, and when I checked with liberal groups, they weren't getting audited. Could he please explain this discrepancy? And he insisted, well, you know, we have a scientific way of doing all this, and it's all very even, Stephen. Uh, and I said, well, can you explain the discrepancy? Perhaps tell us what this even, right. Stephen, very fair measure is and he said no I can't it's a secret but you'll have to trust us uh, and in point Never of fact trust anyone who says that right Grover hey listen I, uh, it's dangerous yeah but it this is, is long-standing unfortunately yeah, well are we ever going to get to the bottom of who authorized this latest scandal in the Cincinnati office I mean I would imagine any memos out there you'd think do not exist anymore but how high up do you think it goes well I think when the president gets up at the State of the Union and denounces uh, the Tea Party movement and denounces the Supreme Court for allowing people to contribute to campaigns uh, with their with their decisions. He's sending a signal out through his administration: uh, get these guys. Uh, this is how the king went after Thomas a Becket. He didn't send a memo: please stab Thomas a Becket. He just complained an awful lot, and his troops got the joke. The president brought with him not only people from Chicago. Uh, but the ethos uh, of the morals of the Chicago political machine under Daley and to this day. And they use the tax office, the assessor's office, uh, against their political enemies and to help their political friends. They use the government as an extension of the Democratic Party machine in Chicago. Why would we think they'd operate any differently? And we're certainly seeing that they didn't operate so, any differently. Gro Grover, from uh, a conservative point of view, is it more important mm -hmm. to damage the Obama administration, depending on how this investigation pans out, or is it more important to bring tax reform front and center as a result of this momentum? Well, we need to get the truth. And when Obama's people take the Fifth Amendment, that's not getting to the truth. We are getting Obama's political people, like Axelrod, complaining about the investigation, which tells you that he thinks that it's a threat to the president's credibility and and is perhaps his presidency. Uh, otherwise, he's, he's not an economist. He doesn't work. At, he's not a Treasury Department guy. He's the political hack. And he says, please stop investigating this. Um, I think we need to get to the facts of this so the American people can can look at how we fix it. And there are two fixes. There are changes on how the IRS behaves. And there are changes in the laws that the IRS enforces. If we had simpler, less oppressive taxes, you wouldn't have some of these problems in implementing it. But we also need to police against IRS political abuses, even in a perfect tax system. If the IRS is targeting people politically for audits and harassment, um, that needs to be fixed. It needs to be transparent. Somebody needs to be looking over this. We need to go back 20 years and say how many liberal groups were audited, how many conservative groups were audited. And it's not just the groups trying to get going, like the Tea Party people. Right. It's the ones that are going that get whacked and get a lot of expenses with an audit. We're already out of time. Very quickly, because uh, we're out of time, uh, Grover, the acting IRS commissioner, Dan Werfel, says he vows, promises to uncover everything. Do you buy it? Uh, we need all the emails out there. We need everyone to talk, not go fifth, uh, uh, you know, ask for their protection under the Fifth Amendment of right. self-incriminization. Uh, uh, 
he isn't the guy who can do this. Everybody who works there is, and the president and his political guys need to stop interfering in the press with this investigation. Grover Norquist, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it.